Good afternoon. This is your last section of Beowulf. I know you're excited. And then after this, smooth sailing my seniors till graduation. And hopefully I can give you some news on what we're doing at some point. And of course, you may be getting it from somewhere else other than me. We're all confused. We don't know. All right. My fresh cup of coffee. Just for our last section. And so our last section is the burning of Beowulf. Beowulf gets his warrior send off. He gets his... Big hurrah. He came, if you remember, way back as a young man to this, to the village of what becomes Denmark, to the Danish. And he comes in as this proud, strong, incredible warrior. But then we know in the last section, he's ruled for 50 years. He's an old man. He's old, okay, y'all. He's old for this time. He's so old. Poor guy. That's how bad I But now they have a dead king. He's left everything to Wiglaf. So they have their new king too. But they have to do something with their old king. Bale's story has to be completed. Now, make sure that you go through the video notes that I posted in this module in your Google Classroom, yes, I'm talking to you, those of you that skipped it. And you know who I know you are. Go back through it. Watch that video again. There's also attached notes about the characteristics of a hero. It's between the hero and the hero's tales. There's certain things that have to happen. Do that before you go too far past it. So you can do the question after this, but then comes that unit assessment. And you better know what you're doing with that unit assessment. You want a good grade. And y'all are too awesome to turn me in something lazy. I'm too awesome to turn me in something lazy. Because you're fantastic. All right. Let's go on, my lovelies. Chapter 43, The Burning of Beowulf. Beowulf's pyre, the folk of the Gitmen, got him then ready a pile on earth strong for the burning he hung with helmets hero knights targets and bright shining burnies as he begged they should have them then wailing war here as their world famous chieftain their lie their liege lord beloved laid in the middle the funeral flame soldiers began then to make on the barrow the largest of dead fires, dark o'er the vapor. The smoke cloud ascended, the sad roaring fire. Mingled with weeping, the wind roared subsided till the building of bones it had broken to pieces. Hot in the heart, heavy in spirit, they moved sad, lamented the men, leaders, ruin, and mournful measure the much grieving widow. Remember, this widow is a widow twice now. And so let's take it for a moment. Typically a warrior send off, one that had traveled there, they would have lit his boat on fire with him on it, like his dead corpse on it. Like they're not burning anybody alive here. Winter time, Denmark, that ground is a solid block of ice. So they're not going to dig a hole to bury. They used a funeral pyre. This is a big fire that is up on this like pestle this platform this is probably stone platform that they had erected and that stays there and it's traditional in my analysis of Beowulf notice I said my analysis does not have to be your analysis doesn't have to come from anybody else's analysis this one's mine I think it's significant that they didn't put them back in a boat to send off it's like we're saying, hey, we're keeping Beowulf. He's ours now. We're not sending him to anybody else. It's our way of keeping him with us. He was our wonderful king. So think about it as a place that they, they adored their king. They're like, hey, he took such great care of us. He loves us. All this good, that, and the others. 
So we're keeping him. We're not sending him back. We're hoping that he stays with us. And this is one way we can do it. And so now it's talking about, you know, the ash wafting up and stuff like that. The mournful measures of the much grieving widow and stuff like that. And they're watching as the pieces are broken and everything else. And they're thinking. So the weeders carried out the Lord's last request. The men of the weeders made accordingly a hill on the height, high and extensive, of seagoing sailors to be seen from a distance. So notice that he's in full view of the sea from whence he came. And the brave ones beacon built where the fire was. In ten days space with a wall surrounded it. As wise as the folks of world folk could most worthily plan it. They placed in the barrow rings and jewels. Rings and gems are laid in the barrow. All such ornaments as erst in the treasure. War mooded men had one in possession. The earnings of earlmen to earth they entrusted. The gold to the dust where yet it remaineth. As useless to mortals as in foregoing errors. Round the dead mound rode then the doughty in battle. Bairns of all twelve of the chiefs of people. They mourn for their Lord and sing his praises. More would they mourn, lament for the ruler. Speak in measure, mention him with pleasure. Weighed his worth and his warlike achievements. Mightily commended, as tis meet one praise his liege lord in words and love him in spirit. When forth from his body he fares to destruction, so lamenting mourning the men of the guests, fond loving vassals, the fall of their lord, an ideal king. See the reverence? They're going to remember him with pleasure. He's going to be the measuring stick for every success, success of every ruler after him. They're going to go, oh, well, he's not as good as Beowulf. Oh, no, Beowulf is the best. See, he set the example here, even though he's not real. Just wanted to point out that reverence. Said he was kindest of kings under heaven, gentlest of men, most winning of manner. Friendliest to folk troops and fondest of honor. So they said, according to the Elm, Beowulf is the most perfect a man could be. But remember, this is a hero's tale. And so typically heroes are a little bit more than men. They are not your average man. They have to be more. And that's how that ends Beowulf. And it points out that we'll never have one as good as him again. All right. I hope you all enjoyed this. I love you all. I hope to hear from you soon. Make sure to check on your financial aid in college. Make sure that you are set up for graduation. Make sure, make sure, sure, sure you know what you're doing. Now, next after Beowulf, you'll notice it's our employment portfolio with our resume. And we're going to see about cover letters, stuff like that about the mock interviews. I feel kind of bad, but let's all stay healthy, stay safe. Bye guys.